Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to continue working on part 3 of this two-story house. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we added the second floor with all the walls and doors. So before we start further, as you can see in our 3D view, that there's a gap between the floor and the wall. So to fix that, I'm going to highlight this wall and click on the tab to select everything on the exterior side and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this space offset to negative 200 the thickness of this floor so once you do that it will look like this and everything is fixed for the interior side we don't need to do that so now let's go back to our level one and in our level one we need to add in some windows so I'm gonna add them with a curtain wall so go back to architecture and click on wall and from the drop down menu, look for curtain wall. And then once, it, once it's selected, we can now add windows. So I'm going to add it like that. Don't, don't worry about the warning. We're going to fix that. It's just saying that it's not showing on this. So it's still hidden until we create a cut. So we're going to fix that later on. For now, we're going to keep on adding the curtain wall. Something like this. And then this one here, like that. So now, for us to open this, we need to go to Modify and select Cut Geometry. You have to select this wall and then create a cut. So once it's cut, you can see it like that. So I'm going to zoom in. Select this wall and then select the curtain wall it will appear like this there's going to be broken lines like that and then select that we're going to keep on doing that all around like so and then here as well and then I missed this one so I'm gonna select the curtain wall and select CS and then I'm gonna add a curtain wall right there and then you can select cut geometry so now that uh, it's added we can now go to our second floor so we're gonna do the same so let's select this and CS and go back to level 2 and then we're going to add the curtain wall. So I think it's good. 
So select cut geometry to cut it again. And I missed this one, so I'm going to select this again, just to add one on this side. We can move this one onto here. I'm going to create a corner window right here. So don't forget to select the cut geometry again to cut this. So let's look at it at 3D view and see that it looks like this. We're going to fix the height and the width right now. So let's start with the window on the side. So this window is for the washroom. So I'm just going to make it small. Something like that. This is for the living room. I'm going to make it small as well. But I'm going to use a line AL to match this height. I'm going to make this 1000. 1000 is too much, so around 600 this one as well 600 and I'm gonna put it up put it up so I'm looking for the arrow and like that AL again to match On the next, we're going to do the sides now, another side, so the right side from the south elevation. I'm just zooming in so that I could pick this one up. And you know what, we could just use this height AL. Something like that, and I'm gonna copy this height. AL again. Okay, this one's bedroom, this one's another bedroom, so AL. I'm gonna copy this height as well. For this side, this will be the one for the washroom. So I'm going to copy this height here. And I'm going to manually change the height for this. Something like that. And we're going to change this as well. AL. I'm going to copy this width. So like that. But I'm going to change the height. So this is for the master bedroom. And this is for the spare bedroom or the office. So, something like that. Let me go to south elevation. I just want to see the height. Oh, 
almost the same. Okay. And now the corner window, we could extend it from here, like so. I'm going to uh, use a line as well. I'm going to match this. And then let's go to 3D again, so that we could push this out. So this will be the west. Okay, and then I'm gonna put it back. I'm gonna hide this for now. So I'm gonna use this. Temporary hide. Element so I hidden that AL again. And push this out. Go to 3D. And we will now fix this part. But first, let's go back to West and let's reveal this. So select the ones that you hit and then So you could just select this icon and reset temporary isolate. Go back to 3D. I'm going to look at it at actually level 2 first. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the arrow key to notch this out. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to pull this back. And this one as well. Until they meet. Oops. And then let's go to level 1 and do the same. Notch this a little. Pull this back. And move this a little bit inside. Okay, so something like that. Okay. So it looks good. Now we have, we need to change the height. So 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy the same height of this. So AL. So I need to change this a bit. Oops. And then this height as well. So we're going to stop here for now. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.